Hey guys, on today's Elevator Parts project, we're working on another Otis Series 1 call button, and this one's a little bit different than some of the other ones I've worked on. I've worked on some basic call stations before, but those are a little different. They have these easy to work on circuit boards, where this one has a proprietary circuit board that we can't easily wire up. As for the other things on the board, we have a fairly simple light on the top and a few key switches on the bottom, which should be fairly easy to work on. So I'm going to make this panel have the priority service light up when you activate one of the keys, and obviously make the buttons light up when they're pressed. So the first step is to take off all the parts, and that's not too hard, just unscrew everything, lift pieces off, and once all the pieces are off, you can see how dirty the panel is. And after cleaning and polishing, it looks pretty nice. Now taking a closer look at some of the components, we have the priority service light, the cover comes off revealing the little label. See it says priority service, and the actual label is just a small thin piece of plastic. Behind the label we have the little housing with the lamps. The housing itself is pretty simple, just two little holes for the lamps. And then the circuit board is fairly simple as well with three pins and some lamp holders holding the bulbs in. Next we have the two buttons, and they are just your normal series one button. They're square, have a little spot for the light. Removing the two covers reveals the circuit board which is an Otis RS3 board, and we can't use this board for the project. Next we have the fire service key, and removing the cover shows the key underneath. And the little cover is just a button cover, but it has this little infill. And then the switch is just this little bit on the back. And here is the key switch in action. Now the access key has a new contact on it, and the key that I want to use does not have a working contact. So I'm going to quickly switch the keys around and switch out the contacts so that we have a new switch to use for the card lobby key. Now that I've got the key switches sorted out, it's time to put them back onto the panel. And that's pretty simple just by sliding the covers in and then placing the little switch part on top and screwing them all down until everything is back together. So the main limiting factor of this project is this proprietary circuit board. And I thought at first maybe we could do some experiments and maybe get this thing to light up. But I tried with no success and I determined, nope, this board's garbage, we need our own board. The first thing I did was take off the old switches on the old circuit board so that we can keep the consistency of the button the same. Then I took some measurements of the old board and wrote them down so I can make a CAD model on my computer and then 3D print a new piece of plastic that we can put all the new components on. And once that piece was done, I verified that it fit on and screwed down, which it did. And then it was time to add the components, which were the two buttons, some LEDs, some resistors, and a little connector to put the battery on. And here we have the completed board, which I think came out pretty nice. You can see we have the two buttons and the two lights. And now the next thing to do is plug in a battery and test it. And it works. Then I attach it to the panel and verified that it works on there, and both the buttons did work just fine. And finally, I designed this little set of LEDs that go inside the old priority service light, because so I took the circuit board off, and this is going to be hooked up to the key switch, so when you turn the key either direction, it lights up the priority service light, and this is a fairly simple hookup. And after the wiring is complete, the panel is done. And you can see here it looks very nice with the polished metal. And it is fully functional as well. When you press the down button, it lights up. And you press the up button, and it lights up. Green and red, which looks pretty cool. And then if you use the key switch, you can activate the priority service light. So that's pretty much it for this project. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This was definitely a lot of fun. I hit a lot of road bumps along the way. But in the end, this came out pretty awesome. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.